subscribe this channel. Today, I am going to teach you Unit 1.1 from 9th Standard Kumar Varthi Textbook. The poem Life by Charlotte Bronte. This poem encourages us whenever we have uh, in a difficult times or in hardships. This poem is an optimistic poem. It has an optimistic view. It motivates us in a hardships. Let's see its explanation and workshop. Unit 1 1.1 Poem Life by Charlotte Bronte Before going further, let's warming up. There are many popular lines like Life is a game, play it well. Life is a journey, going ahead, keep going ahead. Discuss and write down a few such metaphorical lines about life. You can make them yourselves. I have given you some lines there. Life is a movie. Enjoy it to the full. Life is a short picnic. Release it. Life is a sea song. Sometimes up, sometimes down. Try to write more and more lines individually. Now, second. Prepare as many acrostic using the word life as you can. Two examples are given you life live in freedom ever liberty integrity fraternity equality you can turn it into game using a time limit make sure your acrostic are related to life type it individually third listen carefully and write the word in appropriate column you have to put the word in appropriate column hopeful lonely happy these are the words below the bracket that column put them in proper column positive feelings and negative feelings hopeful excited happy surprised loving cheerful comfortable peaceful enthusiastic motivated and inspired these are positive feelings negative feelings lonely jealous shy proud anxious nervous embarrassed scared threatened, angry, crushed. These are negative feelings. Now, let's move to the poem. Very nice poem by Charlotte Bronte. Before going further, the background of the poem. The poem, Life by Charlotte Bronte, is about the optimism of the poet. Bronte wrote the poem under the positive thinking. The rhyme scheme of poem is A, B, A, B, except rain and dream. The poem is divided into three stanzas consisting of 8, 4 and 12 lines respectively. See the first stanza. Life, believe, is not a dream. So dark as sages say. Often a little morning rain foretells a pleasant day. In the first stanza, the poet begins with the word life which is a title of the poem. It emphasizes the fact that the poem is all about life. According to the poet, we should believe that life is not a dream so dark as sages say. That is, the life is not as bad as most of the people believe and say. So dark as the sages say. Often little morning rain foretells a pleasant day. The term morning rain is a metaphor that symbolizes sorrow and despair. The line means that despair is often way to joy and happiness like morning rain which leads a pleasant day. Sometimes there are clouds of gloom but there, these are transient. They are sorrow. Sometimes there are clouds of gloom, but these are a transient all. If the shower will make the roses bloom, oh, why lament its fall? There are sorrows and grips in life of every human being, but they are not permanent, rather they are temporary and short-lived. 
in the final line of the first stanza the poet raises a rhetorical question oh why lament it all if the shower will make roses bloom why lament its fall meaning that if rain can make the rose bloom then why should we mourn it in other words sorrow lead to happiness and should not be lamented in the second stanza rapidly merrily life sunny hours flit by gratefully cheerily enjoy them as they fly the second stanza consists of four lines according to the poet life sunny hours flit by very fast and thus instead of lamenting the sorrows and griefs griefs one should gratefully cheerily enjoy those fast flying moments of life in this next stanza what do death at time steps in and calls our best way what do sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy sway so the first two lines of last uh, last uh, third stanza what do death time steps in and calls our best way in the third stanza poet says a rhetoric way says that though death death may take away your life during our best time the most enjoyable time i mean or the sorrows take over our hope we should never lose the will and determination because hope has elastic springs elastic spring stands for what that the hope is elastic and like a spring season it can be bent by sorrows but cannot be broken and retain itself after the clouds of gloom in the next line the poet brings herself and says that though the sorrow and grief have bent her down or her hopes she still has her golden wings which are capable of being flying even after griefs bent them down what do sorrow seems to be over hope a uh, say heavy sway yet hope again elastic springs and it's unconquered though she fell still buoyant her her golden wings stood strong to bear us well the next line poet brings herself says that sorrow and grief have bent her down her hopes she will she still has her golden wings which are capable of being flying even after griefs bent them down manfully fail fearlessly the day of trial bear for gloriously victoriously can courage quell despair her courage will make her victorious In the last stanza poet is express that her courage will make her victorious thus poet ends the strong will hope and determination that good will ultimately come to her at the end i must explain the central idea the central idea of the poem in the first stanza taking the example of rain the poet asks us to see its bright side in the second stanza she asks us to enjoy the fast running moments of life in the third stanza she becomes optimistic about being courageous even after her death now some difficult words from the poem sway controlling influence lament express grief or regret buoyant that which can rise upwards quell end suppress these are some difficult words from the poem let's move to workshop english workshop poem life pick out from the poem two lines each that reflect an optimistic optimistic stands for positive attitude 
and pessimistic stands for negative attitude some optimism the sentence has optimism foretells a pleasant day but these are transient all these are optimistic sentences pessimistic sentences are often a little morning rain sometimes these are cloud of gloom second give other elvan adverbs of similar meaning for the following use the thesaurus if needed rapidly means swiftly merrily cheerfully gratefully thankfully cheerily happily etc manfully bravely fearlessly courageously gloriously wonderfully victoriously triumphantly we count three examples of interrogation that is rhetorical question from the poem interrogation explanation and explanation if the shower will make roses bloom explanation permanent happiness slowly what though death comes death at times step in and calls our best way if death be at times takes away the people we love most we must accept and hope for the better times third what though sorrow seems to win over hope a heavy sway it does not matter if we are overcome by sorrow and hope seems to be far away b explain the metaphor in the following lines often a little morning rain portends a pleasant day answer if we have difficulties at the same age stage there will be joyous times following it difficulties are compared implicit implicitly big pardon implicitly to rain and joyous times to a pleasant day sometimes there are clouds sometimes there are problems problems are implicitly compared to clouds the shower will make roses bloom the problems will we face will make for better times ahead problems are compared to the showers of rain and better times are compared to roses blooming fourth life sunny hours fleet by the happy times of our life go by very quickly here the happy times are compared to sunny hours pick out four examples of personification write what is personified in each death steps in death is personified sorrow seems to win sorrow is personified yet hope again elastic springs unconquered though she fell you can explain it individually what is personified there can courage quell despair courage is personified and cause our best way it's a gentle way of expressing the unpleasant idea of loved one dying it is an example of euphemism think and write down three to four ways in which we can express the idea of death in a tactful and gentle manner the person has passed on to another world he or she can go to meet his or her maker he or she has become the beloved of god he or she has completed his work on this earth and that's how i realized that courage and hope can help me overcome the major mishap problem in life write an episode experience from your own life that leads to a book conclusion write down your own experience in your notebook i hope you like this video thank you